The federal government has been urged to investigate the importation of contaminated fuel. This advice came from the president of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Michael Olawale Cole, during the quarterly press conference of the chamber. He advised the government to remove the fuel subsidy to help better the economy. Adebanke Oduni has more on this. This was the quarterly press conference of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI. At the event, the chamber discussed several issues plaguing the country and recommendations were given. The president of the chamber, Mr. Michael Olawali Cole, stated that the federal government needed to dig into the seasonal fuel scarcity in Nigeria. Of particular concern to him was the recent bad fuel experience caused by the importation of contaminated fuel. We had the unfortunate incidence of adulterated fuel import into the country in January this year. And then the partial suspension of the PRA implementation. Beyond the accusations and trading of blames, nobody has so far been sanctioned or punished for their roots in the importation of contaminated fuel. These developments reflect a failure of governance and regulation. We urge the government to please conduct an audit of what, what, what went wrong on the economy, Olawali Cole advised that forex rates need to be unified in a bid to aid transparency. The Naira has recorded unprecedented volatility in the first quarter of this year, with a widening prim gap between the official with NAFEX rate at 415 per US dollars and the BDC market rate of 589 USD. The Chamber's position that monetary authorities need to liberalize the forex market by unifying the multiple forex rates. The Chamber appealed to the government to find new ways of tackling insecurity, adding that a control must be created over gun ownership. We have a duty to appeal to government. That's what we are doing. We know they are doing their best. But there's a lot of worry, which I know that even those who are in government feel those worries and concerns. The more they control over guns, where unauthorized and unidentified people possess firearms without street control, is a big danger. The president said the power grid, which has collapsed three times this year alone, can't power up Nigeria adequately, and that the solution to poor power supply is renewable energy. It is becoming clearer that the national grid cannot supply sufficient power to meet our electricity demand. We therefore recommend that government must invest more in technology to fight pipeline vandalism. Armed government should create funding for critical infrastructure and special purpose intervention in the power sector, the most sustainable solution to Nigeria's power shortages is the transition to renewable energy. The group urged the federal government to implement these recommendations to put the country on the right path. Alibanke Odunui, Plus TV Africa. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.